Duke, what's going on? Long time no time. Oh my god. Sorry, 2019. 2018 is over. Long hair season is right around the corner. What are you guys doing to your lawn today to make it greener tomorrow? Or greener for when it's time to be green? Well, let me tell you what you could be doing if you haven't already started it, like everybody else is talking about right now. Oh, look at that sunset. Jeez. El Paso, Texas here, guys. Nice weather. It's cool. And the reason for the video is to talk about soil temperatures and what you could be doing right now to your lawn. Uh, if you're in the south, like me, we've got some Bermuda grass. It doesn't matter the grass type. What we're looking for is a target key temperature, 55 degrees. Okay, now that's the that's the talk. That's the talk of the town. Soil temperatures vary all over the place right now. You know, I've got in the in the middle of the day, I've got 60s on my soil temps uh, in in the area of the yard where it's sunny. And then back over here where there's mostly shade, uh, just because of this rock wall and the alignment of the sun, you know, I'm still down to 50, 45, 50 degrees during the day. So who knows? The point is, there's a time to put down you know, pre-emergent and what better time than sooner than later, okay? So you can wait till March. You can wait till April. Um, I mean... Get something down. If you haven't done it, if you haven't ever ever done it, now's the time to start considering it. Say you don't even have the product. Seriously consider buying some pre-emergent, okay? The pre-emergent that I use is Prodiamine. Um, we use a 65 WDG. It's a wettable granular, okay? And I'm going to see if I can find my little thermometer here. Get you guys a little visual perspective of what we're looking at as far as soil temperatures go. Here it is. So, yeah, and I'm uh, using this little kitchen thermometer here. I don't mind. I'm not going to go buy a new one. I've got one. I'm going to use it. So right now, you know, ambient air temperature, we're looking at 48 degrees outside. Let's stick that sucker in the soil. We don't want to go all the way down. I mean, we can if we want. If I really wanted to just, you know, get some depth in there. Isn't changing much. It's going down a little bit, but, you know, 40... 48 degrees now this was the shaded area of my lawn so let's take it back over here to where a lot of the sun was for the majority of the day and let's see what kind of soil temperatures we get here. just going down a couple inches you know and it's already significantly significantly increased you know the further i go the looks like it the higher it gets that's actually at 50 56 degrees right there okay so i've got two different temperatures in two different areas of my lawn again this area where i'm at right now <clears throat> a majority of the sun is at okay back that way a lot of shade okay so what do you do you got to make a decision do we go with the soil temperature on test site a or do we go with the 55 almost 60 degree range who knows man just make a decision and go with it put it down if you got some um right now really the thought process is um the sooner the better okay you you, you want to target this before uh the 55 you know temperature range don't wait too long okay now why are we going to put down a pre-emergent okay the reason why is because you want to prevent um uh, weeds from growing in your lawn okay if you've already got weeds okay here in El Paso, a lot of a lot of home, homeowners, they've got rocks all over the place. But if you've got lawns uh, and you're looking to prevent the weeds from growing, what you put down now as far as a pre-emergent goes is going to set you up for the future so that you don't get weeds next season, okay? Or um, we're going to stop the cell division, stop the weeds at the cell division uh, from emerging next season, okay? So we put it down now whatever's already dropped into the soil okay that pre-emergent is going to stop it at the cellular division so it doesn't root up and grow um come you know if it's a winter annual it'll stop it from down in the fall etc now i'm going to give you guys some example because nobody's perfect right um 
and I've actually, and I'm going to talk about this back here, but look at this guy. We're going to get down here nice and deep like, look at this guy right there. You see that? All right, that's a winter annual. It's dying, and I'll talk about the reason why here in a second. But, let's see, let me get in here some more. Okay, there's another one. If you know the name of this weed, I want you to comment in the description. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of what kind of weed it is. Here's some better pictures of them, guys. And this is my, my pull pump here with some rock, a little rock bed, but... All right, and then we had some more creeping over here. Okay, get rid of them leaves. All right, so yeah, part of my lawn has a couple weeds too, but you know where they come from? Notice they're on the edges. They're not inside the actual lawn, not in the lawn back over here, Definitely not in my Bermuda grass over here, but on the edges. Okay, so what does that mean? That tells me that whatever my neighbor's growing or not growing all over, because we got beds all over the place. He actually takes care of his lawn, so I know it's not from there. But where they're coming from is everywhere else. Okay, so they're being blown into my yard, basically. And they're stopping right at the edge right there. And they're growing where soil you know is exposed not much development on the grass right there right by the edges but either way the reason why they're dying though is something else that you can do right now okay and i keep putting my glasses on and off but ugh, it's a little inconvenient the sun was out earlier but um a glyphosate treatment so you've got some bermuda grass notice mine is completely dormant look at that you have to excuse the pool, by the way. It's a little, I know we got the cover on, it's a little dirty, but look at the Bermuda grass. Completely dormant right there, okay? Same with back over here, and oh, this area, I don't even want to really show you guys, but it's kind of a disaster. Um, dormant, dormant, dormant. So what can, What else can you be doing, okay, if you've got weeds? Say you don't even have pre-emergent right now, but you've got weeds. Throw some glyphosate down, okay? Follow the application rates, get it down. Um, kill whatever weeds you got okay uh, it's not gonna you know treat the whole lawn but you can do a blanket spray if that's what you're into me personally I'm not into blanket spraying I'm not an advocate of it you know I spot treat the weeds I do have try to keep as much chemicals out of the lawn as possible try to keep everything as organic as possible okay so um, the green that you see here right there okay and you guys notice that orange you see that orange back over there? Let's go zoom in over here. Actually, here's a better picture. I'm not sure if I can get a good shot of it, but this right here. Tall fescue. <laughs> it's, uh, I had, or it wasn't me, but the previous homeowner accidentally seeded my lawn, or seeded their lawn at the time, with tall fescue, okay? Maybe they wanted it. Uh, maybe they wanted some green during the winter. I'm not sure. But see how orange that is right there? That is treated. And I'm going to put a picture inside the video here after I edit it. Was fully green. Dark forest green. I mean, wow. They look good. Don't get me wrong. But I've got a Bermuda lawn. I don't want tall fescue in my lawn at all. Okay. This is the first year. And I did the treatment, uh, glyphosate treatment application a week ago. This is the first time that I've ever treated my Bermuda grass with glyphosate. And the reason why is because I want to get rid of the tall fescue. I want it to be nothing. I want purely Bermuda grass is what we're going for here. So, so um, what I was going to say was uh, you're looking for the soil temperatures to be a certain you know, range, okay? If you're pre-55, that would be the optimum time to go ahead and put your pre emergent down. Last year, 2018, I did not do the application until February 8th time frame. You know, it's January 28th now, so we're ahead of the game here. We're gonna see how it turns out. Maybe I'm too soon. Maybe uh, this is the perfect time to do it, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna do some test trials. We're gonna have some fun with it and monitor the yard 
as the season comes by, okay? So, you know, worst come to worst, I put it down too early. It dissolves away over time and a weed freaking germinates. What do I do? Oh, I'm just gonna spot spray it, it's okay. But it's better to get something in your lawn than nothing at all. Again, the intent is to gear up for the future. So if I start putting something down now, temperatures fluctuate up and down, we get some rain here and there, I ain't, I'm not gonna be worried about it. I'm actually gonna be pretty stress-free. Why? Because I put down my application and I'm gonna hopefully have zero, but inevitably I'm gonna feel absolutely comfortable with it because we actually took care of the lawn, hence lawn care. Gotta take care of your baby. It's weed free right now. So I'm gonna make this short and sweet to finalize things. Uh, Pre-emergent time. Now check your soil temperatures. Get whatever you can uh, as far as thermometer into the ground. Monitor it. If you're starting to approach that 50, 55 area, if you're consistent every week with it, get a pre-emergent. Buy some prodiamine. Check in the, the link in the description below. Uh, take your right to some if you want to buy some. If not, and you've got some dormant Bermuda like, like mine, get to Lowe's, buy some glyphosate, spot, spot spray or treat those individual weeds. Or if you've got you know some unwanted cool season grass and your warm season grass, take care of it, get it down. But what we're looking to do right now, pay attention, pre-emergent applications, it will save you a lot of money and save you some time and energy as far as lawn care goes and taking care to make sure you have a very thick, healthy lawn that is weed free. Um, especially here in El Paso, if you've got things like, um, you know, the stickers, the thorns, okay? Sandburrs is what we call them. You can't walk on your lawn. The best thing that you guys can do is get some prodiamine. It's a pre-emergent, get it down into the yard. It's gonna set you guys up for success as far as lawn care goes later towards the back end of the year, but it's gonna start taking care of them now, guys, okay? If you have any questions, um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. If I missed out on something, if uh, I might have mentioned something invalid or that was wrong and correct, let me know. I'm always using the, the feedback to uh, better the education as far as lawn care goes here in El Paso. Um, and it applies anywhere, really. Just depends on what you want to do and how far you want to take your lawn to the next level, okay? Chris Rod signing off. Sun City Lawn Care. You guys have a great day.